Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a cinematic planet with Blender. Just before we start, I need to say that I need your support to produce quality videos in the future, so please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Well, first of all we need to delete the default cube and light. Then go to Preferences, Add-ons, and make sure you have enabled the Node Wrangler add-on. So now press Shift A and add a sphere. Right click and click Shade Auto Smooth. Go to the Modifiers tab and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier, and set its level to 2. Press S to scale and type 40. Press Shift to add a Sunlight, and change its X axis rotation to minus 30. Go to Object Data Properties, and set the Sunlight Strength to 5. If I stand in this position and press Ctrl Shift 0, the camera will be in the position I am in and I will also switch to the camera view. But we don't see anything. To solve this go to the camera tab and change the end to a bigger number like 5000. Now we need to switch to render mode and add a material to the sphere. But first set the background color to black. Then select the light and change the angle to 3 from the object data properties section. The higher the angle, the softer the shadows will be. Now select the sphere and go to the shade editor and create a new material. Add a magic texture and then press Ctrl T. Connect the object to the vector. Add a noise texture and select these two and press Ctrl 0 to mix them together. Now connect mix color to vector and magic texture to base color. Add a color ramp and set the magic texture scale to 1. Select the noise texture and change the noise type to ridged multifractal. Change the scale to 2, details to 8, run is to 0.7, lacunarity to 3, offset to 2.4 and gain to 3. Now select this color ramp and create the surface of the planet by adding different colors. I myself add a blue color, a purple color, a brown color and a nice blue color to my planet. To add more detail to the planet, add a bump node and a color ramp. Connect the factor to the factor. Change the position of the black handle to 0.3. Now connect color to height. Change the strength to small number to 0.1 or 0.075 and now connect normal to normal. Before we add the atmosphere to the planet, you can select all these nodes and press Ctrl J, so that all these nodes are in one frame and you can even change their color. We've come to the exciting part of creating the planet, adding atmosphere. Add an add shader, which of course I already did. Add a diffuse BSDF. Add a mix shader. Add an emission and connect emission to the first mix shader socket, and diffuse BSDF to the second mix shader socket. Add a layer weight. Add a color ramp. Connect facing to factor and color to factor. Press Ctrl Shift left click to see what happens. Well, all we need is to set the emission color to black. Change the diffuse BSDF color to blue and play with the color ramp handles a bit. Now connect the mix shader to the add shader, and connect the add shader to the surface. Now 
Now we should switch to the world, and set the background color to black. Because the background color is not completely black, now add a volume scatter, and connect it to the volume. If you are using Blender 4.2, there will be a convert to volume option, here that you need to click. Now we have to play with these numbers to get a good result. For the final result, I change the volume scatter color to blue and change the density to 0 0.003 and the anisotropy to 0.9. Now we need to add clouds to the planet. Add a sphere, press S for scale and type a number greater than 40, something like 40.02. Now press Ctrl to subdivide the sphere, and then right click and click shade auto smooth. Create a new material. Before we do anything, go to material properties and set blend mode to alpha blend, and shadow mode to alpha clip. Of course, if you use Blender 4.2, you don't need to do this. Delete the principal BSDF and add a mix shader. Add a subsurface scattering. Create a transparent BSDF. Connect the transparent BSDF and subsurface scattering to the mix shader and connect the mix shader to the surface. Add a noise texture. Add a color ramp. Connect factor to factor. Change the distortion to 0.3. Change the runness to 0.75 and detail to 12 and finally change the lacunarity to 3. Change the position of the black handle to 0.5 and bring the white handle closer to the black handle and now connect the color to the factor. Now we need to render the scene. Go to render properties and change the look to high contrast. Well, this scene of ours looks good, but by using compositing we can make this planet look much more impressive. Go to the compositing section and activate the use nodes checkbox. Press Ctrl Shift left click to add a viewer. And press V to zoom out. Add a glare node and change the glare type to fog glow, and change the threshold to 0.7. Add another glare node and change the glare type to streaks. Add a color balance and change the gain to a yellowish color, and the gamma to a bluish color. Add a sunbeams node and connect image to image. Change ray length to 0.3. Add a mix color and place it here, and change the blend mode to screen. Change factor to 0.3 and connect sunbeams to mix color. Well, now it is much more impressive, but if you want, you can add a background to make the scene more beautiful. We just need to add an environment texture and open the desired degree. Then connect color to color and of course it is better to reduce the strength. Select the environment texture and press Ctrl T. Then change the rotation to achieve the desired result and re render the scene. And this is the final result. Sounds pretty impressive, right? Well, guys. Thanks for watching the video, 
Don't forget to like and leave a comment.